You caught me. Al Alex is Jack's mother. She is. Yep, you got me. Then where are the adoption papers? There aren't any. Why not? Because Alex didn't want to sign any. Because she's wacko. Oh, I'm just lucky that I got Jack away from her when I did. Hey, you said Nellie was a wacko, too. Well, Nellie is a wacko, too. And why did you hire her anyway? Why wouldn't you tell Blair the truth? Because Blair hates Alex. And really, it was hard enough for me to get Blair to take Jack after losing that baby in, in Mexico. And, I, and if, if she had known that, that <laughs> she never would have taken Jack if Jack even smelled like Alex's genetic makeup. But she would take... A baby from a strange, insane person? Yeah. Well, it worked, didn't it? Oh, Todd. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, look at it this way. At least now you know everything. Yeah. I guess. Except. Except what? It was Jack's father. while you were away, just as Asa said. A doctor. He wasn't there for me, and he wasn't there about Al. He was there for Todd and Todd's son. So, it's all about Todd, again. Todd and his son. Nothing about your son, nothing about him uh, lying to Jen. Nothing about anything other than Todd. I'm sorry, Bo. Well, I'm sorry, too. Because this has got to end right now. Now, either you level with me, or you're out of my home, and you're out of my life. I don't know who Jack's father is. You don't? No, and I don't want to know. Have you ever seen the nose hair on the kind of man that would sleep with Alex? What if he wants oh. to take the baby? It doesn't matter now. Jack's mine, mine and Blair's. Except Blair knows nothing about this. Yeah, well, I told you that Blair doesn't like Alex. Oh, so you're doing this to protect her? Yeah, that's what I said. To be a good husband? Yes. Well, Todd, what kind of a husband can't even tell his own wife that her baby's sick? What? But Jack, Jack is sick again? Well, tell me, what, what's wrong with him, Todd? Well, Sam, you tell me. Somebody better tell me what's wrong with Jack or I'll find out myself. I believe there will be wedding bells. I'm going to have to say that reason is skin. I think it's going to be hot. I think it's going to be sexy. <laughs> it should be fun. One Life to Live goes live May 13th through 17th, ABC Daytime. Really hoping that they let me sing. Six reasons you can't miss one life to live next week. I think the truth will come out. I believe there will be wedding bells. I'm going to have to say that reason is skin. I think it's going to be hot. I think it's going to be sexy. <laughs> it should be fun. One Life to Live goes live May 13th through 17th, ABC Daytime. Really hoping that they let me sing. Uh... Tell me what's wrong with Jack. Nothing. I just heard Sam yell at you for not telling me Jack was sick. Now, what's going on here, Todd? Yeah, Sam. Uh, well, Jack, Jack was sick, but he's fine now. Really, he's fine. It's over. Is that true, Sam? Well, you, of course it's true. What are you asking him for? I just told you, you don't trust me. Yeah, that's the point, Todd. I don't anymore. Right, so you're going to take his word over mine, huh? And he's a lawyer. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? I don't care how it makes you feel. What I care about right now is how Jack is feeling. Jack's OK. Thank God. Why didn't you tell me? Just here and there. And Sam won't want to just take me out for drinks. Take me out for dinner. Dancing. Maybe even breakfast. Okay. Let's see. I wonder how this looks. Oh, this is ridiculous. With all the money this hospital has, you'd think they could afford a full-length mirror in the dressing room. There's one in here. Perhaps that's Sam coming around the back way. I didn't 
didn't say anything to you about Jack because I didn't want you to worry over nothing. Over nothing? Jack is our son. I should have been here. Great. You know, I try and help you, and this is the thanks that I get. Oh, by not telling me, you think that's great? You know that didn't help me. You know it. Dr. Schiller, is, is Jack all right? Jack's prognosis is excellent. Well, then what, 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 what was wrong with him? Well, now that he's out of danger, I see no harm in telling, right? Uh, your son was suffering from an iron deficiency. What? Only I this time it was much worse than it was the last time. Iron deficiency? Yeah. You had a bone marrow transplant for an iron deficiency? Bone marrow? Tom, what was wrong with Jack? What? Jack had aplastic anemia. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I came in to tidy up. I thought you were gone. Well, I'm not. Okay, I'll come back later then. All right. Uh, just a minute since you're here already. Perhaps you could help me. I'm expecting someone, a, a man. Oh, really? Yes. And um, he's an associate of the man whose child I just saved. It, well, anyway, do you happen to know if there is a full-length mirror anywhere in this hospital? I need to speak to my husband. Alone. Now. I'll fetch Jack from recovery. Mrs. Manning, once you see how well he's doing, I think you'll feel much better. Did you did you hear that? I mean, <laughs> Jack, Jack's doing fine. Jack's doing great. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy for him. You know, I'm just furious with you. You not telling me that Jack was sick is beyond bad. It's bizarre, Todd. Yeah, well, uh, you, you were in Texas, right? I mean, yeah. if I had told you that Jack was sick, you would have gotten on a plane and come back here, am I right? And you would have gotten all upset. Well, why wouldn't I? I had plastic anemia. You know what? That's... Star almost died from that. Yeah, well, th there you go. What do you mean, there, there you go? What, what? You're not even making any sense, Todd. None of this makes sense. When Star was sick with a plastic anemia, they told us how rare it was. How could this, how could this happen? You know, I said the same thing. I mean, really, uh, how much bad luck can one family Come have? Come on, Todd, it's beyond bad luck. This is practically, it's impossible. Hey, Jack's not our birth son. I mean, if he were, it would make sense. But he was adopted. could Jack have the same rare disease that Star had? No, this... My relationship with Todd is strictly business. I don't expect him to hurt me in any way. Yeah, but see, nobody ever does. Right up to the second that he strikes. You've never seen him at his worst, right? I have. Todd is no threat to me. He needs me as much as I need him, perhaps even more. No. As, I... as a style editor. Well, then you really are in trouble because Todd Manning hates needing anybody. That's when he's his most dangerous. Whatever this, this uh, arrangement that you have with him, just get out of it. All right? Just as fast as you can. And if you need any help, all you have to do is ask me. Thank you. Too much to lose. Well, fine. You got even more to lose, so do I. All right, goodbye, Gabrielle. No, wait, no, wait, no. don't. I, you know what? You can't give me your trust. I can't give you my friendship. Hi. Hi. Jogging clothes? Right. Oh, um, well, I was, you know, I just did a charity <clears throat> bike a -thon, 50 miles. So. Whoa, well, that must have been a sight to see. Yes, it was definitely a moment in the history of sore muscles. That's yeah, for sure. I bet it was. <clears throat> Listen, Nora, I've got some questions for you about Alex Olenoff. What? Oh, no. I guess that means she hasn't left town. I was hoping that she'd left town when I saw her yesterday. 
When did you last see her before yesterday? Uh, Ace's will reading, uh, you know, when he faked his death. That would be in November, right? Did, did you happen to get a good look at her? <laughs> of course I did. She always makes sure everyone gets a good look at her. Did she seem pregnant? Trust me, Sam, she'd never do that to her figure. Why did she tell you she was pregnant? No, but somebody else did.